सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अन्य बेस्ट एंड आई एम करेंटली सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट एट आई टी कानपुर एंड टूडे वी हैव दस नचिकेता एंड ही इज फ्रॉम आई टी खड़कपुर एंड ही इज रिसेंटली ग्रेजुएटेड एंड ही कम्पलीटेड हिज इंटीग्रेटेड कोर्स इन केमिस्ट्री सो ओवर टू यू नचिकेता कुड यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ अबेट एंड टेल अबाउट इट सेल्फ हेलो गाइज आई एम नचिकेता आई कम्पलीटेड एन इंटीग्रेटेड कोर्स इन केमिस्ट्री विच वॉज ऑफ फाइव ईयर फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन Currently, I am uh, joining Concordia University as a graduate student who is going to study chemical engineering in a graduate diploma course. Thanks. So awesome. So my first question to you is that what made you choose this branch during your JOSA counseling? <laughs> so as as of any other student, I was also okay. confused like how to choose. Um, chemistry uh, was. A, a little bit easier for me to understand okay. as compared to physics, and uh, uh, as far as my rank was concerned, I I won't get like uh, engineering branches like right. computer science, mechanical, right. and all those. So I went with the uh, subject that I was interested in and was easier. Also, making sure that I get a you know good institute to right. learn. Right. So there was IIT Kharagpur, then IIT Kanpur. Those were the institutes that I felt that mm -hmm. give me proper, you know, education right. and depth. Understand. So right. Uh, so basically, uh, what is this branch all about? Could you explain it in layman's language? Um. So like chemistry, if you. consider like as a an academic uh, graduate so okay. you will study lots of uh, subjects which are in depth like let's say environmental chemistry or yeah. analytical chemistry you might be uh, end up uh, being a junior scientist or okay. you know go in more depth and do a phd or like work in any other industries which requires a bit of uh, you know knowledge uh, related to science so it's not uh, as simple or uh, you know like the trend is going on to do a data analyst course right and exactly right right five to ten job not not like that right so it's more related to the academics hmm more uh, like research oriented course yeah it's a research oriented uh, branch right right so like what were the major courses or electives that you studied uh, in your um during your degree so could you explain like name of you yeah so uh, i think i was interested in bio and organic chemistry right so i did an internship at iit gandhinagar uh, mm -hmm. related to the same and i did a couple of projects also uh, at iit kharagpur uh, like uh, i studied about fuel cells uh, and metal complexes and catalysis of photochemical reactions so that um, i get an idea and you know uh, i i should like focus on only few fields that will help me select the uh, next part of my studies like higher studies if i want to go mm -hmm. so uh, in your opinion like was this branch tough to study like compared to other branches like what's your take on that um so in the first four semesters most of the subjects are uh, like uh, yeah, the mm. undergrad student it, mm. it can be mechanics electrical technology all those courses will be same apart from that uh, uh, after like four semesters it gets uh, more, more in depth like right. you will get uh, um, drug design and development mm. biophysics and lo lots of uh, laboratory work will be there You'll be right. spending a four to six hours in the labs. Then there will be like let's say three hours laboratory work. Then there will be break. Then again right. you have to work it and make sure you uh, make all the reactions in a way so that you get some product. Otherwise, uh, you won't be getting good marks. Right, right. <laughs> there is no step marking. It's just the final product, or it's just a failure. Right, right. so um, like um, since yours was a integrated course but if like any student wanted to uh, complete their 
bs degree first in chemistry and then uh, would they have an option to like also go for ms degree in the same college like in iit kharagpur so the rules keeps changing so what okay. i have heard is uh, like batch of 2021 or 2022 was last uh, okay. as an batch, integrated like batch yeah. And, yeah but after that they have uh, shifted to just a four year course i right. think of course at chemistry uh, in chemistry Thank and you. those who do a masters will have to uh, appear for gate okay uh, or do competitive exam ugc net is there right right and those uh, they can be uh, get uh, they can get admission in mm -hmm. uh, these like basically so, they'll have to go through the procedure proper procedure they can't like just yeah. convert get their degree converted into a master yeah maybe okay. some of the uh, still be uh, giving out these courses integrated courses okay okay mm -hmm. changing so you have to look for it like are they giving this course right, out right. so uh, moving on and talking about internships as you mentioned so like could you share your internship experience a bit and what was it about yeah so uh, about the internship so i reached out to few professors who who were uh, uh, like giving out projects in the like summer then right. we don't have academic uh, mm -hmm. schedule and uh, i like looked for some of the projects that i was interested in mm -hmm. and just read like a normal mailing right uh, ask for cv some of them don't so it's fine if you don't have prior experience right after uh, you might be working with a uh, one or two seniors or maybe there may be two or three co-interns uh, through which you have to like do some reactions and the way is the same way we do in the labs like in the institute but mm -hmm. you will get more fun to uh, use those uh, methods and you know devices right. and you will learn more also like mine was like photochemical reactions basically uh, so that i can create uh, carboxylic acids from aromatic aldehydes mm -hmm. so the uh, more in depth uh, like uh, you will get whether you want to do a phd or not so right. those basically questions. you will have an idea at an initial level see whether it interests you or not so uh, you did this internship yes. in your second year or third year yes okay yes. second year of your internship Amazing. So, uh, moving on and talking about placements a bit. So, how are the placements in core of this branch, and are there any companies do uh, who come to recruit people from this branch, or like what's the scenario? Um. So, as far as I remember, like during my placements, uh, right, most of the um, uh, jobs that were offered was in the field of IT or right. you know the the recent trend like data analyst or consultant, all that. there were only a couple of companies uh, uh, specifically chemical companies that mm -hmm. were in uh, chemistry graduates like right. as a junior mm -hmm. um and they were not offering a lot of money like it was mm -hmm. around 6 only as yeah. compared to of the other uh, right. non code thing and like 11. what was the role that they were offering Uh, these uh, chemical companies right right the chem chemical companies junior scientists like okay. it was hmm. a, a project again a research of... role right it was yeah a research hmm. role hmm. yes okay <clears throat> so uh, my next question to you is that uh, like what's the ratio in your batch like uh, what's the ratio of the people who go for higher studies or like go for placements in non core of this branch so i would say that half of us uh, were willing to go for the jobs that were offering like non core jobs right uh, in it uh, like we used to prepare like 4 to 6 months before hmm. and gave the interview and everything and those who wanted to do a phd have already made like like in the second so for me year or the third year that they will do more projects so that they will uh, publish some articles so that they can get a good trades and uh, go for a phd right right so like so if a, 
understood understandably so like um, if uh, any student wants to uh, pursue the non core uh, the non core uh, jobs from this branch so like is it uh, difficult for him like compared to a uh, circuit branch student for like securing a good job in the non core sector like what's your take on that uh, yeah i think it will be difficult uh, right. to get to non core jobs mm -hmm. the number of credits that you will be uh, completing in chemistry it, it won't be that easy like there will right. be lots of you mm -hmm. have to like many classes and all that mm -hmm. uh, and with that we have to prepare for other courses right let's right. say exactly. mm -hmm. just maybe learn a few coding languages that would be difficult mm -hmm. but the help of your batchmates it is mm -hmm. possible and not possible right. definitely possible um, and many of the like jobs are open to chemistry graduates hmm. of course right. uh, it's not uh, like till engineering students hmm. only mm -hmm. it is open most so of the all, right. yeah so i think that the best, huh, you hmm. yeah go for an older iit where right. the, the scenes are better so that you will get more opportunities and you might get a non core job even if you don't you can always move to you know the education side and right, do a right. phd hmm. i think like this was also like one of uh, my incoming questions like should we go should a student go for a better branch or a better college Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, this this is a very popular question among the freshers or the students who are joining the institute. Like they have this confusion whether we should go for a better college mm -hmm. or should go for a better one. So, what's your take? So, my answer would be a biased one right. because uh, I was clueless after twelve. Uh, like huh. honestly, I was not sure what branch should I take. I took right. chemistry with a bit of curiosity and. the reason that i find it easier to mm. like uh i heard a lot about iit khadakpur mm. uh, and the facilities and the opportunities that i'll get and i don't regret that decision at all yeah. like an older iit uh i learned lots of thing uh, apart from academics uh, specifically let's say public speaking and exactly. other mm -hmm. participating in other societies or let's say sports facilities mm -hmm. thing new people so it gives you a different perspective uh, on how to you know hustle through life right right i would say going for an older iit is a worth sacrifice if you're not right. going for it right. branch because basically the opportunities are uh, like in abundance in the older iit so even if the branch is not that that comparatively good So I think that makes yes. up for it, as you said. Yeah. So uh, moving on and talking about your own experience. So how was it to study in IIT in like one of the most prestigious institutes of the country? <laughs> um, my first year was uh, pretty tough. Uh, like yeah. even I failed in the first semester. Okay. But uh, so it happens. Like you fail. Right. Sometimes. Right. Agree. Huh. So, yeah it was a bit depressing but somehow i managed to clear all the right. credits end of the semester and uh, so there will be like exams like five exams in three days so <laughs> you have to be prepared <laughs> right right uh, for that like i think iit teaches uh, this is like one of the best <laughs> thing that iit teaches you to deal with a lot of pressure and the bit happens a That's lot right. Right. yeah but you have to go through it and right right you'll be more stronger once you are out right exactly and at that time it really feels like unbearable and when like you're having this sort of breakdown and everyone else around you is studying and you get just more nervous by seeing them it's like it's not a good uh, feeling or state <laughs> of mind but yeah it teaches you a lot yep so like mm -hmm. my next question to you is like uh, um students and i think it's the same similar question students in this rank usually like go for new iits as well so like what's your take on this should we go for new iits 
if you are mm. getting a uh, like better circuital branch or something like that i think it's uh, more or less the similar question i mean uh, if you have made your mind that huh. um, like after 12 you think that you are going for um, let's say computer science right mm. so you are like 100% sure, sure about your branch right yeah so it makes sense to go for the branch go for it right not like that you won't get more facilities in exactly, the new exactly exactly like for an example iit gangnam is only new but they have hmm. more good facilities in like right. labs and hmm. everything campus is like very new and you'll meet like uh, younger professors to like talk with and it 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 won't be bad it would hmm. be brilliant right so i want the going into a new iit is a bad option hmm but sure that you want this branch specific right. branch and then you should go for it right right so i think that was it for the interview just any final message before leaving to all the students who might be watching this <laughs> um keep an open mind like explore new activities uh become part of the like college not right. only focus and mix hmm. but make sure you get a decent cgpa so that right exactly. <laughs> because ultimately that matters <laughs> right right yeah. that's it i think that's it thank you for your all